Yeah, and speaking of up and coming YouTubers, I actually just posted on the site swgohindeath.com last night mm -hmm. a complete first order phase two heroic AT team. Oh, nice. Walked through this dude named General Gravis, I found on Reddit. And I reached out to him on Reddit. We're going to see if he wants to come on the show at some point. Right now, I think he still thinks I'm some crazy dude who uh, you know, <laughs> thinks he has a podcast or something. But yeah, it was a really good video. He, he did a great job with it. Got, got really, it reminded me, it reminded me of an early version of one of, you, one of your Smithy D's videos. It kind of gets real detailed. Mm -hmm. uh, nice. Oh, cool. Nice. Yeah. So uh, he, he needs to watch his language. Other than that, he's, he's doing <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'll watch my language. Bitch. I ain't watching nothing. Hey, what's up, bitches? The guys over at SWGOHindepth.com have invited me on their podcast for May the 20th. They have a lot of great content on their site and have a ton of great guests from the community like Honorable T101 and Smithy D. So go ahead and check them out. Let's take a quick look at the Veer's rework and get into crafting teams around him. The main issue the community seems to have with this new team is the speed. Most of the Imperial troopers are pretty slow. But if you look at General Veers' kit, it's kind of designed to speed the team up through a few different ways. The first being his basic, which has a chance to give himself and a random Imperial Trooper ally speed up. His leadership gives flat speed, as well as turn meter when an Imperial Trooper gains a buff. His special calls all other Imperial Troopers to assist, but his unique Zeta ability really makes up for the lack of speed. After killing an enemy, Imperial Troopers gain 50% turn meter, as well as offense up and recover 10% protection. So you can see how this team, it's actually kind of similar to the First Order, is once it gets snowballing, you kill an enemy, you get a lot more speed, way more turns, you kill another one. First Order's the same way, once you get one turn meter ability, you'll stack it with another one and another one. Warning, what you're hearing is just an opinion. Don't freak out. These are the best Imperial Trooper reworks under the General Fears leadership. I've put General Veer's leadership and his unique ability at the top of the screen just for your reference. Number one is Death Trooper. He is the strongest overall character of all the Imperial Troopers. He gives his comrades 10% health steal. His AoE dispel and healing immunity are clutch in the arena. His basic can daze and stun targets and Death Mark will bring any tank down in just a couple of hits. Number two is Shore Trooper. A pre-taunting tank will keep the slower Imperial Troopers safe. Under the Veer's leadership, Imperial Troopers gain 10% turn meter when they gain a buff. So whenever Shore Trooper gives the team critical hit immunity, it will speed them up and keep them healthy. After the Imperial Trooper reworks, all of them give a passive buff to their fellow Imperial Troopers, and Shore Trooper gives the other ones 10% max HP. Number 3 is Snow Trooper. In my opinion, the best of the Imperial Trooper reworks, Snow Trooper was given several damage increases on his abilities. His basic applies ability block and his high damage AoE can completely reset with 4 critical hits. His unique gives him 30% turn meter whenever any unit is defeated, and gives half of that to Empire allies. This synergizes with the Veer's unique that gives trooper allies 50% turn meter when killing an enemy. While Snow Trooper is active, he gives his Imperial Trooper allies 20% critical damage. And number 4 is Magma Trooper. Also given significant damage bumps on his abilities, Magma Trooper could be the underrated rework. His basic deals splash damage to one other target which can help get around taunts and stealth, his AoE reduces turn meter by 30% with a chance to reduce it by 60% altogether. Whenever he resists a negative status effect, he gains 70% turn meter. And if his naturally high tenacity wasn't enough, while Magma Trooper is active, he gives all Imperial Trooper allies 30% tenacity. In my opinion, the man left out here is Storm Trooper. I like his rework and I think it's unique and fun, but for a tank character, his problem is he only has 17,000 health and 16,000 protection. Those are both extremely low for a tank taunting character. Is the Veer's Imperial Trooper team arena viable? Probably not. Not as long as the Malmet is here anyway. I do think they could make a pretty good team for the tank raid phase two. The constant killing of the side guns would give them a lot of turn meter, recover protection, but it all depends on how much damage they do. I got nothing for an outro, so bye.